Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. I have a fun video tutorial for you today in Photoshop. We're going to be working with the Puppet Warp tool, which will allow you to easily uh, warp photos within Photoshop and make them look really cool, really funny. Uh, it's a lot of fun, so let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first thing you need to do here is basically this is going to work better with a transparent background on the image so as you see here I got a nice good-looking dog here it's on a transparent background it did start like this on a white background now obviously your images may be a little more difficult than this one to remove the background and if that is the case go to my channel and search for remove background I have a video on how to do it shows you multiple ways go ahead and I'll put the link in the description box but on this on this video here in this image I just grabbed the uh, quick selection tool or magic magic wand tool there and then selected the white area and then hit the backspace or delete key and then hit command or control D to deselect and I now have a nice image that I can move around on a transparent background so let's jump back onto our original image here now in order to use the puppet warp tool what you're going to need to do is unlock your layer and make sure it has a transparent background just like this and then once you've done that go up to edit once you have that layer selected and then go down to where you see puppet warp right here click on that once we've done that you're going to be presented with a few different options up in the toolbar here you're going to see a few different things you're going to see expansion this here is going to show you uh, if you click the show mesh there it's going to show you all the different points and areas you can select there uh, to where the object will move and then you can actually uh, increase or decrease the pixels of which that you know is in your image by selecting the expansion tab there and increasing or decreasing that via the slider I'm gonna leave mine at two pixels just because this image I like the way that works and then once I do that I'm gonna deselect the show mesh for now that way I can kind of put my pins where I want them I'll talk about pin depth here in a minute so now what we're going to want to do is place a few pins within the object so within this dog I want to move these legs around I want to move them at their base here and then I also want to move them at close to where the feet are so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that pin and put it a little further down and then once we've done that you have a few different options now the first thing you can do is you can hover over one of those pins that you've placed and you can click and drag and extend and move and bend and all of that good stuff just like you had a puppet or you can click and hold the alt key on your keyboard and we can even rotate so I'm holding down my alt key and that brings up the rotation tool and I now can rotate this image just like I'm doing now so that's by holding down the alt key so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch and I'm gonna move the legs I'm gonna put the alt key here I'm gonna rotate his little foot up I'm gonna take this one here and drag it extend it. I'm gonna rotate it up as well then take the back leg and put it over here and rotate that guy so now it looks somewhat like a crazy llama or camel or something like that but the last thing I want to show you is the uh, pin depth tool so if I grab this one here and I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it back a little bit so it looks a little more normal and then I'm gonna put it in front of this leg now as you see here the transparent background kind of messes it up but don't worry about that you can you can adjust that uh, via the selection tools and get rid of that uh, via backgrounds and whatnot so don't worry about that now and then what I'm going to show you is once I do that and I have that pin selected I can go up to the pin depth tool in the upper center of my screen and I can actually go up here and set the pin forward to make sure the leg is in front of the other pins or I can click the set pin backwards here and it makes it go behind the other pin so again set pin backward will make it go behind set pin forward will make it go in front of so again you can click and hold and drag and, and make it <laughs> do all kind of crazy things we can even go up here and select this one and rotate him and make his head go all kind of crazy different directions so that is one flexible dog but anyways guys this is how to use the puppet warp tool within Photoshop it's a lot of fun you can really mess with your friends when you take pictures of them and have different crazy things around them so if you do have any questions though put those in the comment box below I try to get to those as quickly and as frequently as possible like this video share it with your friends and family it does help me out out. Subscribe to my channel for more great tech content, tutorials, reviews, and gaming news, and I will see you guys in the next one.